It's the indictment families of the Robb Elementary School massacre have been waiting for. Former Uvalde School District Police Chief Pete Arredondo charged with 10 counts of abandoning and endangering a child, a felony. Be. Brett Cross, who lost his 10-year-old son Uzziah in the massacre, posted a video on X showing him outside of the Uvalde County Jail where Arredondo was booked, then released on bond. The sign he was holding, the same one he held at a protest days after burying his son. The message, he says, is the same. At approximately 11.32 a.m. This Arredondo was the presumed incident commander on the day of the shooting one of nearly 400 law enforcement officers who immediately responded, but then waited an agonizing 77 minutes to confront the gunmen. He said afterwards he didn't consider himself to be in charge and that he believed the mass shooting had turned into a hostage situation. In a scathing report earlier this year, the Justice Department called that miscalculation the most significant failure in a cascading list of failures that day. Failures in leadership, in tactics, in communications, in training, and in preparedness were made by law enforcement leaders and others responding to the mass shooting at Robb Elementary. Their loved ones deserve better. The government, as well as the families who lost children that day, say lives could have been saved if police acted faster. Besides Arredondo, former Uvalde school police officer Adrian Gonzalez has also been charged. He was one of the first officers to arrive. The victims' families, who have been demanding accountability for years, say that's not enough. We're all happy that at least two officers were indicted. Um, we're, we were hoping for a lot more, and we're hoping that that something does come in the future, but we're not holding our breath on that. We gotta get in there. Many of the families want all of the officers who failed to do their jobs that day charged. In the meantime, some are taking matters into their own hands. The families are suing nearly 100 of the Texas State Police officers who responded to the shooting. Along with the manufacturer of the gun used in the attack, the gun store where the firearm was purchased, even companies behind violent video games like Call of Duty, which the gunmen played, as they seek justice for their loved ones. Tony Waterman, CGTN, Austin, Texas.